Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see all about Azure SQL Managed Instance. Before we get into the details, let's see the different types of databases in Azure. There are three types of databases in Azure. They are Azure SQL Virtual Machines, Azure SQL Managed Instance, Azure SQL Database. In Azure SQL Virtual Machines, we can have multiple instances of SQL Server and each instance can have multiple databases. In Azure SQL Managed Instance, we can have single instance of SQL Server. The single instance can have multiple databases. In Azure SQL Database, we can have a single database. Now let's see what is Azure SQL Managed Instance. Azure SQL Managed Instance is a flavor of Azure SQL Database that represents a fully managed SQL Server Database Engine Instance hosted in Azure Cloud. Every instance is fully isolated from other customer instance and it is placed in the dedicated subnet with a private IP address. It is a fully managed platform as a service offering. It closely resembles the on-prem SQL Server. That means that it includes all the features like SQL Server Agent, Server Broker and CLR options for .NET hosting. Since it is a PaaS service, Azure manages the backups, patching and high availability. We can also perform cross database queries because Azure SQL Managed Instance can have multiple databases. Now let's see some of the main factors that contributes the pricing of Azure SQL Managed Instance. There are three factors that contributes the pricing. The first one is B Core. B cores are the virtual CPUs that lets you choose the hardware specs. The next factor is the storage. You can determine the storage based on your data needs. The next factor is the service tiers. There are two types of service tiers, general purpose and business critical. Each service tier is designed for different levels of performance, hence the pricing varies for each tier. General purpose tier is a business friendly tier designed for workloads with common performance and availability features. Business critical tier is designed for performance sensitive workloads with high availability features. Now let's see how to migrate the data from on-prem to Azure SQL managed instance. The first step is to create a backup of the database in on-prem and next we need to move the backup to Azure Blob Storage. Next, we can restore the database on Azure SQL Managed Instance using a Restore Statement. Here is our Azure portal. In the Create Resources, when you type Azure SQL, and select Azure SQL, and click Create, we will get three options, Azure SQL Database, which is a single database. And next, we have Azure SQL Managed Instance, which is a single instance of SQL Server. And then we have Azure SQL Virtual Machine, where we can have multiple instances and multiple databases. For this demo, I'm going to select Azure SQL Managed Instance. We can have different tiers and here is the pricing details. Your price depends on the number of V cores and the storage that you select. Let me click configure managed instance. Here we can select either general purpose or business critical and we can select the V cores and the storage as per our need. The price varies depending on the configuration that you select. And then we can mention the other configurations like networking, security, additional settings. We can specify any tags if you want. And you can create your Azure SQL managed instance based on your requirement. 
I hope you got a fair idea of Azure SQL managed instance and I'm sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in yet another interesting Azure concept. Thank you.